So what we're going to go through briefly in this video is breaking down our two octave D major scale, uh, where we shift and good ways to double check our intonation, making sure that we're staying well in tune as we're going through. So our first octave is pretty much normal. But as we went over in class today, when we get to the C sharp, this is the last one that we play in first position. We are now going to move our first finger up to a D. So this is actually our first checkpoint here. Um, but your first finger is going to slide to where your third finger would normally go. So a good way to check that is to play with your open D string. It should sound nice. If it's not correct, we'll have... We'll hear something that's really unpleasant, but we should have a nice... Nice smooth sound like that. So from here, on our first finger D, on our A string, we're gonna have a space, second finger E, space, third finger F sharp, tight fourth finger G. Our first finger is now gonna move straight across to our E string for that first finger A. This will be our next checkpoint. We can play this A with our open A string. And it should sound just as nice as the D string and first finger D did. So then we have our second finger B, third finger C sharp, and our pinky is going to come tight next to our third finger with a high D. To make sure that D is in tune, we also have a checkpoint with our open D string. Making sure that your hand hasn't slid too far back or too far forward as we're shifting up. So, the big spots to practice for this scale are going from C sharp to D in the first octave. Getting used to moving your hand back and forth there. Um, the other big spot is going to be going from the A string over to the E string in third position. So getting that D, E, F sharp, G to A, B, C, D. Um, and then also going from A to G on the E string to the A string. Don't know why, but when we're descending and we're crossing strings in third position, it's very weird and we usually end up with a funky pinky placement. So, a good way to practice that. Just transitioning back and forth so we could even go and so the big thing with that particular exercise even though it didn't look like a lot going from G to A what I was doing was I was taking my pinky entirely off of the A string when I go to the first finger A and then when I go back to the fourth finger G on my A string, I am taking my index finger off of the E string. So my hand has to start remembering where those notes are to get more comfortable with that. Um, the other good practice, if you're feeling adventurous, I'll talk about that in the other video, never mind. Um, so going through our entire second octave together, we'll have... practice of sound even better. So let me know if this helps or if you have any questions, but should be alright.